Good evening everyone. It's cold up here tonight in Pineville, Missouri. <laughs> I got my little cozy blanket on and I'm trying to stay warm. I've got my little area warm little heater here to kind of keep me warm. But I do have a warm heart. <laughs> Don't ask my wife if that's true or not. Okay, She might say something different anyway. Um, I have a question for you tonight. I want you to think about it. I don't want you to give me a quick answer. I want you to think about it. Okay, this is just an an a question I have for everybody around the world. Here it is. Are you ready? <laughs> Do you think you can change God's mind? In fact, when was the last time you you changed? When was the last time you changed God's mind? Well, I'm here to tell you, never, <laughs> ever have you changed God's mind. Now, I can tell you, God can a heartbeat. He can change your mind real quick. But you're not going to change His mind. I used to, they used to have this little plaque they hung up. People's house. Prayer changes things. Let me tell you, God ordained prayer, and the only time things are going to change for you if it's God has already ordained it, that He's going to change it. You're you're not going to change His mind. A lot of charismatics will try to order God around. I demand you in the name of the you do this or that or the other. You're not going to change God's mind. God is never changing. He's immutable. He's unchangeable. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you think that you're going to change His mind about something? No, that's true. The Bible says if you say to this mountain, be cast into the sea. If you cast a mountain into the sea, God's already ordained that you're going to cast the mountain into the sea. Well, but Larry, but, but, but Larry it says, is if you have a grain of mustard seed, well, let me tell you something, if you have the faith of a grain of mustard seed that was given to you by God, you certainly didn't plant that mustard seed and go out and get that faith yourself. I want you to think about it. When was the last time you changed God's mind? You know? God, here's what I'd like for you to do. A lot of people think that God is their great uncle in the sky with a long beard and he will grant unto them anything they want to make they have. He's their wish doctor. Their wish doctor. I wish you'd do this for me. I wish you'd do this for me and this for me and this for me. I'm not saying God is not loving and He doesn't care about you. But He's not your grand uncle in the sky that offers all your needs to you on a whim, on a silver platter. You know? That is not the God of the Bible. Okay? Now, it's true, Christ said to the lady at Samaria, if you would ask of me, I would give you living water and you'll never thirst again. She said, give me of this water. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that was ordained of God. He said, I must needs go to Samaria. Zacchaeus was a short-statured guy. He was a midget. And he climbed up in the sycamore tree for his Savior for to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and said, Zacchaeus, come down. Today I must abide at thy house. Zacchaeus didn't change God's mind. It was ordained that Jesus walked that way, look up in the tree and say, come down. People have it backwards. They want to think that man is in control of everything. Man's not in control. God's in control. Paul was railing against the church and he was 
blaspheming the Christians and putting them in prison and everything else and all of a sudden he was struck down on the way to Damascus blinded by a light and he sees Jesus and Jesus says to him why aren't you kicking against the pricks <laughs> and then what did, was it what was it that Paul said who art thou Lord <laughs> and what did the Lord say get up and it will be told thee what thou must do you think Paul changed God's mind or you think God changed Paul's mind that's my question do you think God you think Paul changed God's mind or did God change Paul's mind what about Jonah and the big fish swallowed by a whale do you think that God changed Jonah's mind or Jonah changed God's mind Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh God changed his mind when he vomited him up and made him willing in the day of his power all the time say well you know I can pick myself up by my bootstraps really I'd like to see somebody ever pick themselves up by their bootstraps <laughs> I'd like to see that how that would work you know there's a song that used to say they used to sing you know just do it do it do it <laughs> just do it huh You can become anything you want to be. Really. Really. I remember seeing little kids, they used to say, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I've, heard, I've seen some of those little kids on YouTube. They're funny. They'll ask them what they want to be when they grow up. It's amazing some of the answers that I've gotten that I've gotten that I've heard people I've heard little kids say they want to be when they grow up I want to be a camera <laughs> or you know I want to be a flower <laughs> or you know let's say I want to I want to be a garbage man <laughs> Little kids, what goes through their minds, you know. Wow. I want to be a butterfly. I want to be a snake. I want to be peanut butter. <laughs> Make somebody happy on a peanut butter sandwich. Our society has gone crazy, folks. These, these, it's, it's, it's new age thinking. All you have to do is think something and you be, can become it. I used to be wound up in the new age movement. I used to believe I could actually leave my body and fly all over the world. Can you believe that? Wow. I can fly, I can fly. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Rocky Mountain High, huh? Yeah. Didn't work out too good for him when he crashed his plane, did it? Yeah. Well, the truth is absolute. That's what I'm trying to point out tonight. The truth is absolute. You can't just make up your mind you're going to leave your body and fly all over the world. You can't just read some metaphysical book and, you know, one of the professors I was under, Professor Dr. Arthur Hammond in college, said he had had a thousand different wives he'd been reincarnated a thousand times on this earth people get this this guy used to be a minister 
a Methodist minister and he got into metaphysics and became a psychologist professor at the college. He went to Japan and was in a grocery store and a gal comes up to him and says, Where have you been? And he goes, Do I know you? And she goes, You're yes, you're my prior husband of, you know, several thousand years ago. <laughs> I'm telling you, people are absolutely crazy what they believe anymore. And Sometimes you have to pinch yourself and you say, am, am I, is this real world I'm living in? Saying we're going through space at 60,000 miles an hour and spinning a thousand miles an hour at the equator? No wonder I'm so dizzy. <laughs> oh man. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a, a ball? flying through space at that rate of speed and water staying on it. Can you imagine that? Well, this is something to think about. And the way we started out this conversation tonight, I ask you the question, when was the last time you changed God's mind? You know? And I'm here to tell you, you're not going to change His mind. His decrees are certain. If he's chosen you in him from the foundation of the world, there's not a cotton-picking thing you're going to do about it to change it. If he has predestinated you into adoption, you're one of his children. And by the way, you're going to like it. You're going to like the fact that you're one, you're one of his children. If he's made you willing in the day of his power, you're going to remain willing in the day of his power. Well, that's what's on my mind tonight. I hope you have a good uh, weekend tomorrow, Saturday. I hope you enjoy your weekend. May the good Lord be with you this day. And just remember, you can't change God's mind. But He can certainly change yours. God bless.